Welcome back, and here's the update for the first part of this week. So um, this is actually on Saturday. I was in um, the shop there milling uh, the floor braces, uh, the new floor braces after we removed the conduits out. So this is just uh, actually running using the long end mill and just uh, cutting the, the radius on the edge of the, of the brace. And this is Monday now, so uh, there's the part that um, Jeff created the mold of on Friday and that still needs some bracing before we can release it from the plug so that'll be coming and here's the uh, floor the other floor brace again uh, just getting uh, some finish work done on there so those uh, are all done now and uh, they'll be getting uh, primed shortly and next up we have uh, Jeff was priming uh, this is on Monday again Jeff was priming the uh, inlet um, plug there for the inlet and then the other one next to it and then a little brace that we had from before and then also the roof um, the roof plug so he's got all that primed and then you see he's doing the other side so after it's primed it gets a guide coat put on there and uh, and then get sanded and then it'll be ready for the top coat and here is the parts finished so this is the um, rear pressure bulkhead that we did a little while ago and there's the, the roof one all done came out good it's quite quite a big part of that but not really complicated per se and there's the parachute strap channels that you can see and there's the other parts all done so those are the two parts of the forward part of the intake and then the little center brace for the rear pressure bulkhead and here's uh, Devon and working on creating a frame for the next part which is going to be door frames and there's the fuselage with a guide coat on it or actually yeah, the, the upper roof with a guide coat on it and this is something I hadn't shown before this is where we're hot wiring um, the foam to create a new platform so you can see there's a wire running through the foam there and we use um, some straight edge there to help guide it and we're pulling from both sides and just running um, you know electrical current through the wire to heat it up and that does a pretty good job of just cutting the foam and once it's cut we put down um, some of this polyurethane glue which is equivalent to uh, Gorilla Glue and it sort of holds the uh, foam nicely in place without sort of you know burning it or melting it or anything like that and we buy it in, in bulk so then it gets sprayed with some water to activate the the glue and then the foam gets put down there and generally put some weight on it um, to hold it in place while it dries so that's our update until next time thanks